Coming up now, it's the gold medal match in the recurve men's individual here in Berlin. Und jetzt kommen wir zum nächsten Goldfinale. It's a big one. It's an interesting one. Let's just take a quick look at how the two athletes got to this stage. Ranked 171 in the world, Bei Jae Hyun came through the top of the order, taking out two teammates on the way to this gold medal match. Mete Gazoc is the reigning champion. He won here last year, and he's back in the gold medal match to defend his title. Well, the crowd really happy to see this one. Gazos loves it in Berlin. He's been on the podium twice already this season and is defending the title here in Berlin. Last year showed us just how much he likes competing here in Germany. <laughs> Buradaki sahayı daha çok seviyorum galiba Antalya'ya göre çünkü Antalya'da üçüncü olmuştum burada gene finale çıktım. Moskova'da orada güzel olacak ya güzel mutluyum yani. yani gene aynı şekilde bir şov olacağını düşünüyorum. Çok güzel maç olacağını düşünüyorum ama bu sefer şu tafa kalmaması için uğraşacağım. <gülüyor> Yeah, that was a brilliant finish from uh, the Turkish athlete Gazos in Berlin last year. Bit of a showman. And look, even uh, the athletes from the other countries mimicking Gazos's, well, bit of flair with his fist bump. Not just time to have his 11s, is. that young man waiting for the. Uh, Athletes in the wings. I think the uh, judges and the coaches uh, may already be out, hence the round of applause. Uh, it's time to go back down to the range to welcome out the gold medal contenders here in Berlin. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the recent men's gold. 20-year-old Mete Gazos from Turkey leads them out. He's the world number five. He took a bronze in Antalya, a silver in Shanghai, and is the reigning champion of the Hyundai Archery World Cup in Berlin, having picked up the gold in 2018. But he's up against the world number 171, who has a higher average arrow and a better percentage match winning stat. Gazos leads the line in terms of tiebreakers, but Bai Jae Hyun is a serious contender here at 30 years old. The Korean has no World Cup podiums. Gazos, of course, has that one gold, plus eight other medals on World Cup stages. The gold coming here in Berlin just 12 months ago. But the real story here is Korea have brought their B team. A very, very, very good B team. <laughs> and so there's no Kim Woo Jin here. Kim Woo Jin has not won a stage on the Hyundai Archery World Cup. He lost to his teammate Lee Woo Suk in Shanghai. If this man here wins in Berlin, Kim Woo Jin will not be at the finals in Moscow. Correct. It's incredible. Kim it Woo Jin, dominant in this sport for so many years, may not make it to the fi finale. The question is, does that put extra pressure on Bay, knowing that he wins and he's in? Well, there's zero pressure on the 20-year-old Turkish athlete. He has qualified by ranking. A stage win will be the icing on the cake for him this season. Beautiful. Wow. Two tens to get us underway for gold here in the recurve men's individual in Berlin. So both open with a 10 and followed up with a 9. So matching each other arrow for arrow so far.
Back in the tens for Gazos. Pressure on by Jay Hyun. And pulls it to the nine. Great shooting from both of them. 28 out of 30 is a great score, but Gazos went one better to take the first two set points. By looking very relaxed. He'll be happy with his 28. That's not a bad start, right? It's not bad, but he's going to be disappointed in that. All these archers out here at this stage, they expect to shoot 30s. Such a perfectionist. Crystal yeah. Govin, such a perfectionist. That's how they've got to this level. They have to demand perfection. Well, it's an interesting lineup here. Uh, the road to Moscow is taking its toll this season, but all places for the final are booked except this one. And the question is, which Korean will book it? If Bay wins today, he takes the spot. If he doesn't, Kim Woo Jin will go. We see that Brady Ellison and Lee Woo Shook qualify as stage winners. And uh, we've got four athletes qualified by ranking, including Gazos. And we see two Koreans will be going and two from the Netherlands. So a little surprise there. Bay goes first, had the opportunity to put some pressure, and shoots an eight. Oh, Gazos loves it. He should move to Berlin. <laughs> loves it here. He did say he likes this better than Antalya. Bit of a longer hold from the Korean. A nine, so a little surprising. Did did click his sight there. Great opportunity for Mede. In the nine. Still enough. By Jay Hyun needs a ten. Gets a nine. Out of three arrows, not one in the ten ring. Very surprising. You know, it's small. Me, I check some in so 8-9 liner, but it doesn't matter. Either way, he gets the set points, and it's 4 nothing just like that. Spot on, yeah. The measure there indicated by the asterisk next to the 8, but as Crystal Govan said, it makes no difference. It just uh, means a higher score in the set for him, but he already has enough points to take the commanding 4-0 lead. He's not going to let this one go surely now, Gazos. No, he told us. We saw that saw that clip, and he said, "I'm not, I'm not taking this to a shoot off. I'm winning outright." Well, we see a contrast there between uh, the relationship between the coaches and the athletes. Smiles all round in the Turkish camp. And we look at uh, Mete Gazos's arrows across the match so far. So not much to say here. Pretty centered, a little bit to the left, but overall you can't complain with a group like that. Yeah, just a one high nine, but still touching the ring. And now by fighting for his life here in Berlin, start of the third set. He has to at least tie or the match is over. Gazos leaning over, unique to him. Also pulls one out to the left. So again, we go to six set points, so a tie would be enough for Bade to get to shoot another end. Into the ten. That grouping of arrows on the left of the center, very, very tight. Yes. We're talking centimeters at 70 meters. Gazos nailing it into the center of the target. So Bay needs to shoot a 10 here. Oh. Gets a nine, the door open for Mete Gazos. A 10 
to take back-to-back -back titles here oh, in gosh, Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's done it! The 2018 winner here in Berlin has done it again. Back-to-back -back victories for Mete Gazos of Turkey here in Berlin. He is a stage winner on the tour this season. He will be going to the Moscow World Cup finals as a stage winner. Brilliant stuff from Mete Gazos of Turkey taking gold in Berlin. What fantastic shooting. I mean, that was just textbook beautiful. And, and the enjoyment, the true joy on his face, you can see it. He's out there having fun. Brilliant performance, he <laughs> loves that fist bump, and so do I. Brilliant stuff from the entertainer from Turkey. And I'll tell you what, there'll be a man sitting in Seoul who will be absolutely delighted with that. The win for Mete Gazos here confirmed, and with it, confirmation that Kim Woo Jin, subject to the rankings being confirmed <laughs> tomorrow, will be in the World Cup Finals in Moscow by Hye Jun didn't make it through, wasn't on his A game. Mete Gazos definitely was.